Roberto Di Matteo is the current manager of recently promoted West Bromwich Albion and a former footballer who has played the game at the very highest level. Born in Switzerland to Italian parents, the midfielder enjoyed a stellar career which took him from Switzerland to Italy to England before being brutally cut short by injury. In 1993 he left Switzerland to sign for Italian side Lazio and was soon called up by the Italian national side for the first of 39 international caps. He would go on to represent Italy at both the European Championships in 1996 and the World Cup in 1998. After a falling out with the Lazio management he was snapped up by the Chelsea manager Ruud Hullet in the summer of 2006. He was soon joined by his Italian teammate Gianfranco Zola and together the two helped Chelsea to win two FA Cups, the League Cup and the European Cup Winners' Cup. Di Matteo also scored what was then the fastest goal in FA Cup final history in 1997, hitting the back of the net after just 42 seconds against Middlesbrough in a game which Chelsea would eventually go on to win 2-0. He would presumably have gone on to collect even more silverware had his career not come to an abrupt end in a UEFA Cup match in his native Switzerland. Di Matteo suffered a triple leg fracture, meaning that, aged 30, he had to face up to the fact that he had played his final match as a professional footballer. After an extended absence from the game, Di Matteo has embarked on a successful managerial career and his West Bromwich Albion side recently gained promotion to the Premiership at the first attempt. Di Matteo is enjoying a well-earned break in Phuket where he has recently purchased a condominium and I was fortunate to catch up with him in my capacity as a reporter for PGTV. I'm here at Serenity Residences, which is a brand new development of condominiums in Catu, and I'm with former Italy and Chelsea midfielder Roberto Di Matteo. And it's been a good year for Roberto for two reasons. Firstly, his West Brom side have just been promoted, and I'm going to ask you about that in a moment. And secondly, he's just purchased a condominium here at Serenity Residences. So first of all, I just want to ask you, Roberto, why did you choose Phuket? You could have chosen anywhere in the world for your holiday home. Why Phuket? Well, there's a number of reasons for that. First of all, um, I love the country, uh, the friendliness of the people. Um, the climate is very, very nice and uh, <coughs> there are some great golf courses here. And the other reason is uh, the developers of uh, this um, condominium here, they're friends of mine from Switzerland. So I knew I was going to buy into some uh, quality apartments. Okay, and uh, about the football, um, West Brom, they've been something of a yo-yo side. They've, uh, they're very good at getting promoted, not so good at staying in the Premier Division. Um, are you confident that you can keep West Brom in the Premiership next year? Yes, we are. We're looking forward to uh, finish that uh, going up and down and uh, trying to stay in the Premier League for next year and uh, coming years and build on that. Okay, and I have to ask you, uh, the British uh, press are very excited about seeing you in the Premiership because at present, Roberto Mancini, another Italian, is, is widely regarded as being the best dressed manager and uh, they think you're going to give him a run for his money next year. Um, you're obviously going to be going shopping for some new players, you're going to be going shopping for some new suits as well? <laughs> well, he's in a different league than, uh, than me, obviously, he's, he's got much more experience and... Um I just, I just, I'm excited to be actually managing the Premier League and measuring ourselves, you know, against the best teams in the world and best managers in the world. They all work in the Premier League, so I'm sure it's going to be an exciting um, and interesting year for us. Okay, and the subject of shopping, the World Cup is obviously about to start in South Africa. Are you going to be going there yourself? I'm not sure yet. I haven't uh, planned to actually go. I will obviously f be following it, but I might be doing some uh, media work uh, rather than go to South Africa. I don't know yet. Okay, and um, obviously your good friend Gianfranco Zola, um, uh, you must have been looking forward to managing against him. Unfortunately, he's just been uh, sacked by West Ham. Uh, how disappointed are you that you won't be facing him uh, from the touchline next year? Yeah, he's a good friend of mine, and obviously I'm sad to uh, hear that he was sacked. Um, but that's that's part of our job. Um, we know that um, you know at any time, if you have a run of bad results, you can get the sack. Uh, but I'll be seeing him this summer and hopefully enjoy a nice few game of golf with him. Uh, in Phuket? No, probably in Sardinia. In Sardinia, okay. And uh, no, no, no plans for you to uh, offer him a job at West Brom then? Well, you know, th they obviously have someone already, so <laughs> I don't think they need another one. But uh, we will be in touch with him. Okay, thank you very much, Roberto Di Matteo. I'm James Goida for the Phuket Gazette TV at Serenity Residences in Katu.